In court today, we heard from Tony Satterfield. His mother was Gloria Satterfield, a housekeeper for the Murdochs who died after a fall in their home in 2018. Satterfield testified without the jury present as the judge debates on whether or not he will allow into evidence Murdoch's alleged financial crimes. Satterfield said Murdoch got more than $4 million in an insurance settlement for his mother's death, but that he and his family never saw one cent of that money. The jury also heard from another witness on Murdoch's alleged financial crimes today. Our Sam Perez is in Walterboro with more on that part of the story tonight. Sam? Exactly, JR. So again, the trial continued again today, the in-camera trial, meaning that the jury wasn't present for any of the testimonies about the alleged financial crimes. Now that's because the judge is waiting to hear the testimonies and then decide if they can be used in this murder trial. The morning got started with Jan Malinowski, the current CEO of Palmetto State Bank. Uh, Mr. Murdoch owed directly or indirectly $4.2 million. $4.2 million, is that correct? Yes, sir. The prosecution is trying to use Malinowski to explain Alec Murdoch's financial state and mindset at the time of the murders on June 7, 2021. Attorney Creighton Waters did this by having him read from different documents showing Murdoch's financial records. It's a copy of a bank statement, uh, Alec Murdoch farm account. And what is the balance of that on June 7, 2021? June 7, 2021 shows a deficit balance of $2,458.23. Negative balance? Yes, sir. In cross-examination, the defense did maintain that Murdoch was periodically paying on these loans. Yes, the state then called Tony Satterfield to the stand. Satterfield's mother, Gloria, worked as a housekeeper and nanny for the Murdoch family for 20 years. When she died from injuries she sustained from a fall at work, her son claims Murdoch offered to help out with a lawsuit, but never updated her sons on the progress. You've come to find out that there was a settlement for $505,000, correct? Uh, yes. And it was diverted by Alec Murdoch, correct? Yes. And ultimately you've come to find out that there was a settlement under the umbrella policy uh, for $3.8 million, is that yeah. correct? Yes. Or thereabouts, correct? Yes. And a large proportion of that was diverted by Alec Murdoch, is that right? Yes. Did you ever get one cent from Alec Murdoch when he was still, uh, before all of this happened? No. Did he, you give him permission to steal your money? No. The prosecution is arguing that Murdoch allegedly pocketed the money that was rightfully owed to clients like Satterfield and others with similar claims. Again, the jury has not yet heard any of this, but Judge Clifton Newman is expected to make a decision after hearing more witness testimony early next week. Reporting live in Walterboro, Sam Perez, News 19. Darcy, back to you. Sam, thank you.